Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price for this particular version right here is 1,350 bucks. I repeat, 1,350 bucks. Now this comes in three different colors. You got silver, graphite, and burgundy. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this comes in two different display sizes. You got 13.3 and 15.6. This is the big boy, 15.6 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 1920. Now as far as the PPIs, I don't know. For the processor, you got the 12th generation Intel Core i7 1260p that's clocked in at 2.1 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 4.6 gigahertz. Now this comes with either eight or 16 gigs of RAM 512 or one terabyte of storage and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory Now for graphics you got the Intel iris XE graphics card This is running Windows 11 home The weight of the laptop is three pounds The battery life 21 hours. All right, so it's rated at 68 watt hours Samsung claims you're gonna get 21 hours. I used this for a full day yesterday. I got over nine hours easily now it does have quick charge, so you can charge it to 40% in 30 minutes. Now the webcam on this shoots 1080p video. As far as the ports, you got one Thunderbolt 4 and two USB type C's. Now the Wi-Fi connection is Wi-Fi 6E. You got dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG. You got a fingerprint sensor and it comes with the S Pen. Not the Bluetooth S Pen, a regular S Pen. All right, now, on a side note, if you buy the 13-inch version, that one's going to be a little bit cheaper, but this is the 15-inch version, 1350 bucks. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. 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 White shoes. Calm down. <laughs> ah, got it. Got you again. Now, let's do a quick recap. Y'all remember the first Galaxy book two years ago? I actually love the build quality in this one. This one did have the Bluetooth S Pen, but it had a lot of bugs at launch. Now they did launch uh, at launch. <laughs> they did push out a bunch of updates and it did get better, but the speakers on this one, I, I hated the speakers. I hated the bugs, but after all of the updates, it is pretty good. Fast forward to last year's version. Now this is actually one of my favorite laptops. Okay, this one also has the non-Bluetooth S Pen, but no bugs, no hiccups, no issues. Okay, I love last year's version. Now I know somebody's gonna ask, if you got last year's version, should you upgrade and get this year's version? The answer is no. There's only a few differences, such as the processor. Last year's version has the 1165. This one has the 1260, so not much upgrade. Okay, last year's version Wi-Fi 6. This one has Wi-Fi 6E. And one of the biggest upgrades is last year's had the 720 webcam. This one is 1080p. Okay, so if you got last year's version and you can find somebody to buy it off you for around a thousand bucks or 900 bucks, okay. But other than that, I would just keep it. It's pretty much the same. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, one thing I will say, I love the presentation. I hate the Galaxy phone presentations, but the laptops, this is how you do it. Nice picture on the box. Big, clean, white box. Yeah, I know I like that. Giggity. Here we go. Uh, inside, this is gonna be your Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. You get USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable. Shoes, do your thing. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them, and yes. It does come with the charger in the box. So Samsung, they know how to do it. They just choose not to do it with the phones. But if you're gonna spend 1300 bucks on a laptop, you do need a charger. Okay, your phone charger is not gonna work on this. You, you really want the laptop charger because it's a little bit more powerful. All right, now shoes. I need you to inspect that cable, but take it light. Okay, now for the Galaxy Book. Take it out of the little sleeve. Here it is. Bang. Now I went with the graphite color this time. Looks 
Beautiful. Like I said, only weighs three pounds. Okay, so it's super lightweight. Now, let me start off by saying this. This is my favorite laptop right now to use for all of my daily, my, my RDA, my regular daily activities. This is my favorite laptop. Now, when I'm gaming, I like to use my Asus Zephyrus G14. When I'm doing my real hardcore heavy editing, I like to use my uh, HP Omen. When I'm listening to music, I, when I'm really doing my DJ music stuff, I use the MacBook or I use the Razer Blade because they have the big front facing speakers that are super loud. But when I'm chilling in the bed or I'm traveling or I'm just doing my RDA regular daily activities, this is my favorite laptop. Why? Because it's also a two in one. So not only is it a laptop, but you can fold it around all the way into a tablet. This is dope. Okay, not to mention, you do have the S Pen. I think I forgot to show you that in the box. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we do have we do have the S Pen. Let's get and pop that out. Like I said, this is the non-Bluetooth S Pen. Okay, but fully functional S Pen nonetheless. So when you're chilling in the bed, if you're a fat fuck like me and you got a big stomach, you can use the tent version. I call this the tent. Set it up like a tent right in your stomach and just chill like this. Use your S Pen. Swipe back and forth, go crazy. Then when you're ready to do some work, turn it around into laptop mode. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why I love two-in-one laptops. And this one is powerful enough to do all of your regular daily activities and all of your work. Now, if you're a content creator and you like editing videos, this can handle it. I, this is to can totally handle it. All right, so let's uh, start our regular testing. Let me uh, pause the video, set up my Wi-Fi, delete my browsing history. Hide my bookmarks and we'll get right back in talk amongst yourselves All right before we go any further if you're gonna buy one of these laptops There's two more products that I recommend getting number one get yourself a mouse Makes it a lot easier than using a trackpad Okay, now this is the cooler master mm 720. This one's gonna run you about 45 bucks But it's RGB Now the next thing you're gonna want to get is a USB hub and this is my favorite one. This is the one I highly recommend. It's called the Dot Case. Okay, let me show you why this one is so dope. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. Zombie killer. Rah. Here we go. Rah. Okay, the Dot Case. Now, if you notice, these laptops don't have too many ports. You only got one Thunderbolt, two USB Type C's, no HDMI, okay, no full size SD card slot, no USB 3 slot. So you get yourself something like this, and now you can rock all your accessories. And this is my favorite one, the dot case. This one actually has an LCD display that shows you the speed of all of the connections. So you got USB Type-C, you got HDMI, you got full-size USB-A's, another USB-A, full-size SD card slot, and a micro SD card slot. It also has four rubber stoppers, all right, so it's not gonna move around. You plug it in with USB Type-C. Let's go ahead and slap this in right now. Just so I can show you how it looks. Okay. And when you slap it in, look at that display. Now, if I plug in any accessories, it's going to show you the speed of that accessory. Okay. So these are my two mandatory uh, accessories. A mouse and a USB, uh, USB uh, <laughs> what do you call this? A USB hub. Let's keep it moving. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Excellent. Lightweight, it feels super premium, has that cold aluminum feel to it. Only weighs three pounds, minimum branding, just a little Samsung logo right here. Simple and clean. Now for the ports, there's your micro SD card slot, your Thunderbolt 4, and this is your 3.5 headphone jack slash mic input. On the other side, you got two USB type C's. That's pretty much it. That's exactly why I say you need to get a USB hub. This way you can connect all your accessories, including HDMI for your scumbag activities. Now, let's do the one hand open test. All right, before we do that, here's the bottom. Okay, you got four rubber stoppers. Okay, there's your speaker. Let's do the one hand open test. Look at that. 
No liftage off the table. No fighting and struggling. Easy open. Now, let me show you the keyboard, okay? Look at this big, beautiful keyboard. It's super bright. I'm gonna dim the lights in a minute. And you got a big, giant trackpad. Now, the keys do have excellent key travel, nice clicky sounds, but check this out. You do have fingerprint sensor. All right, so let's hit that fingerprint sensor. Bong, just like that. All right, so we'll do that again. Close it up. Do the one hand open. Okay, fingerprint sensor. Bong. <laughs> this is pretty sick. All right, so let me dim the lights real quick so I can show you the brightness of the keys. All right, so I got the display brightness turned all the way down. So let's check out the brightness of the keys. Now this is on 30%. You can clearly see it. But let's increase it to 60%. Okay, a lot brighter. And here's 100%. Now look how bright these keys are. I'm sitting down here in complete darkness and I would be easily able to see every single key. Now take a look at the display. This is minimum brightness. Let me show you how bright the display gets. Okay, a little bit more bright, brighter, brighter. This is around 50% brightness. This is super bright. Now let's go all the way to 100. Look at this. The display is so beautiful and so bright and the keys. If you like me and you work in the middle of the night, this is gonna be perfect. Now let's talk about the keyboard. This is one of the reasons why I love this laptop. You got a full number pad on the side. So this way if you type in or game in or putting a lot of passwords in, you don't have to keep reaching up for numbers. Bang, right there on the side. Now you got all your keyboard shortcuts on the top. So you got settings, okay? All your Samsung settings. Matter of fact, let's go through those real quick. For display, you got dark mode. Okay, you can change HDR settings. Got your focus mode. Let's go to advanced features. You got studio mode, auto booting, battery and performance. All right, now if you want to protect your battery, you make it stop charging after 85%. You got different performance modes, which you can change uh, from one of the buttons. So you got high performance, optimized, silent, and no fan. Okay, you can change all your keyboard settings. Okay, that's pretty much it for that. We don't have to go through too many settings on this one. Next, if you want to connect a secondary display, you got that shortcut button. Okay, now if you wanna turn your trackpad on or off, button for that. You got mute, volume up and down. You got your keyboard brightness. You can block recording. You can change your performance modes. So I'm gonna leave mine on high performance. You can lock the keyboard. You got print screen, insert and delete. So all your shortcuts right on deck. But again, one of my favorite features is having a number pad right on the side. I like typing and dropping my keys right there. Bong, just like that. Now, this is my real typing speed. Bong, just like that. <laughs> Let's exit out of that. <laughs> I probably did something. All right. So, that's it for the keyboard. Trackpad, big and juicy. All right. Very responsive. Nice click on it. Okay. Let's click on something real quick. Let's go to our YouTube music. Just like that. Super fast and responsive. Now I wanna show you some of my favorite features and some of the things that I use this laptop for. Now let's talk about some of my favorite Samsung features and we'll start with Quick Share. Now on a side note, I got my RGB mouse plugged in, so if you don't see my fingers, this is how I'm using it. All right, so we click on Quick Share and check this out. Now say I wanna share a file from my computer, right to Galactus, here's all I gotta do. So I'm gonna click on Devices, let's pick a picture, let's go me and Shoes, okay? Now I'm gonna send that one over from my laptop to my Galaxy. You see it's coming over. Okay. And bang, just like that. That's quick share. That's basically like uh, iOS's version of AirDrop, but it works dope. Now I'm gonna show you another one. Say I wanna send a picture from my phone to the laptop. So we'll hit share. Okay. We're gonna click on the Galaxy Book. Okay, it's connecting. Sending. 
and bong. Look at that. Sharing files from your phone to your laptop, super fast, very convenient. <laughs> I love it. Now this does have Amazon Alexa built in. So let's go ahead and click on that. We'll try it out. What's the weather for tomorrow? Tomorrow, there will be rainy weather with a high of 50 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 48 degrees. That's pretty dope. All right, so now let's do a little second screen. So if you got a Galaxy Tab, here's all you got to do. We're going to swipe down. We're going to go over to second screen. We do Windows K. Okay. Close these tab. Say connect. And look how fast that is. Okay, now I can do some gaming. I can do all my regular work. Let's go to YouTube Music real quick. And rock out just like that. That's a nice little feature to have. <laughs> all right, secondary display. Now I can close this one and just rock out on my tablet using my laptop's power. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. I'll open up Chrome. Let's go to Apple. Look how fast this is. Now this is the full website. Okay, we'll open up another window. Let's uh, check out these new headphones I just ordered. The Techniques. Okay, the EH-800s. Okay. Pretty dope. Back to Apple, let's do one more window. Let's open up, uh, let's go Sony Vegas. All right, so I'm looking for some new software. Full website. All right, so no issues with the uh, web browsing speeds. Intel Core i7 is perfect for regular daily activities. And look at this. Why well, shoes back there just chilling like that? <laughs> this laptop must be uh, generating a little bit of heat because she's loving it. Now, speaking of heat, the fan on this is a little bit loud, but one of the things that I do like is watch this. We could go silent, optimize, high performance, or no fan. Okay, so if you're not doing heavy graphic intensive activities, you don't need the fan. All right, so if you just want to be quiet, and do your scumbag activities on the low, Rock it like that. But I like high performance mode. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, let's talk about the speakers. They are a little bit better than the Galaxy Book from last year, but they're not the best in the world. But I'm not going to complain. The speakers sound okay. Let's do a little sound test. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Yo, sound test. Tougher sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Tougher sound test. Speaker sound okay. Watch this, y'all. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. And on a side note, am I the only one who got excited when he said, how does this sound, White Shoes? And White Shoes was actually listening. A am I just the only one? Let me know. <laughs> I'm back here extra smiling. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Anyway, as far as the speakers, like I said, a little improvement from last year, a big improvement from the original Galaxy Book, but definitely not MacBook 
not razor blade, you know, not gaming laptop with front facing speakers, quality sound, and not even a Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. You gotta remember, that tablet has quad speakers. So it's definitely gonna be better. This has dual speakers, but I'm not gonna gripe. I definitely not gonna complain like I did with the original Galaxy Book when I called the speakers trash. These speakers are actually usable. Now let's talk about my absolute favorite feature of this laptop, this big, glorious, beautiful AMOLED display. Check this out. Let's hit play. This is how I like watching my videos in the bed. I right, my scumbag activities, all my YouTube videos. But look how beautiful this looks. Look at this. Now I love the fact that it's a two in one, so I can put it in tent mode like this, or I could fold it all the way down, have it flat on the table, or I can just have it in my hands like this. Just rock it. This is why this is my favorite laptop. A lot of times you want to watch videos, you don't want the keyboard in the way. Fold it back and just chill out. Fellas, grab your lube and get busy. Let's keep it moving. Now let's talk about the S Pen. Now, like I said earlier, it's not the Bluetooth version, but it has all of the same functionality except for the remote controls, so you can't whop any of your videos. Now, if you click on Air Command, it looks the same way it does on your Galaxy phone. Let's do Create a Note. Okay, let's pick a color. We'll do red. Let's do Call Mike. 347 3312. Change the color yellow. Blue highlights in it. Let's uh, do blue, a couple of stars, just like that. Now you can save that or share it. Now you can view all your notes. You got Smart Select. So say I just wanna select my apps right here. Bong, I can share that to somebody or save it. Let's do uh, Screen Write. Now this just takes a big picture of the screen and I can write on it. So check this out. With a big arrow, just like that. Exit out of that. Save or discard. Now, one of my favorites, live message. Okay, so we'll do color. We'll do a quick, hey, baby. Y'all yeah, know I like to keep it cute. And moist. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Save and share it. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Let's see, you got Pen Up. Now, Pen Up, this is a cool app, especially if you got time to kill. So if you got your two-in-one tablet, say you happen to be at the airport or something, let's uh, let's draw something real quick. We'll do, uh, let's do drawing. Okay, we'll do landscape. Now, say I want to draw. Let's let, let me, now, my drawing skills are trash. Let's draw a little car. <laughs> let's see if I remember how to draw. Okay, let me, I got a big paintbrush on. Let's let's do the we'll do a marker. Let's see. How about this? Red like that. <laughs> now this is my actual drawing skills. Okay. I'm drawing a car right here, fellas. Y'all see, you know, back in the days I used to always draw my cars. I used to put a little Mercedes Benz symbol on the front. You know what I'm saying? Little blue skies. <laughs> uh, you know, let's do some, let's do the red tinted windows, you know, boss moves right here. And of course, we'll do some, some yellow highlights. Okay. Now look, y'all see I'm trash, but <laughs> of course. hold on. We can't just have a car driving on nothing. We got to put a little road right here. And of course, we'll do a little tree. I, <laughs> now I can I can put this on eBay right now and sell this shit for nineteen ninety nine. All right, but pen up. This is a cool app. It does have different templates of pictures that you could just color in. This is a lot of fun though.
All right, this is a lot of fun. Well, I'll <laughs> discard and exit. Uh, well, y'all can see a bunch of different ones that people did. This is a fun app. So anyway, fully functional S Pen. Let's hit um, Air Command one more time. And um, you can do um, show your windows and you can add shortcuts. Okay, now one more thing I forgot to mention. When you close the laptop up, the top does magnetize for your S Pen. All right, so you won't lose it. Let's do the shake test. That's minimum shakeage. Let's do intermediate shakeage. Maximum shakeage. Ah. So the S Pen is not gonna fall off and it slaps right on. All right, so now let's talk about the power of this laptop. Now, if you're a content creator and you like to edit videos, this laptop is powerful enough to handle the job. Now, this is the real software that I use to edit my videos, okay, Sony Vegas. Same thing I got on my Asus laptop. Let me show you. Now, this is a video clip that I added. Let's go ahead and render this. Watch this. Look at the rendering speed. The same speed on my desktop. So this is powerful enough to edit your videos on the go. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Now I downloaded Steam, I got my account set up, and I got a wireless controller. We're playing Street Fighter V. Here we go. We'll be on the battle. Now I'm a little bit rusty, so y'all gotta bear with me. If y'all hear me mashing buttons, it's only because this controller is new. Now I'm on my basement Wi-Fi, so it might be running a little bit slower, but I'm speaking from experience. I'll be using Steam on this laptop all the time. It runs perfectly fine. Okay, let's go. Ragdoll. Oh, she got me. Oh, she got me. Oh no. Oh no. Stop it. Oh no! Oh no, I look like trash, I look like trash. Let me get a little stun. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna I'm I'm play serious this time. I'm gonna play serious this time. Let me let me stop playing around. Alright, fireballs alert. Let's go, fireballs, immediate fireballs. Let's go. Come in. G bags. No, I'm, I'm trying to get it perfect. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Gaming on this laptop is no issues, especially if you got a strong Wi Fi connection. It's gonna run at the actual speed. All right, so I'm gonna end the video by doing the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now, you already seen gaming, you already seen me playing around with the S Pen, you already seen me editing videos, but this is how I really use this laptop. Other than doing my work emails, which I don't have to show y'all, let's click on home. All right, the first thing I like to do, take it over to Amazon, okay? Now, this is the kind of stuff I actually be doing. Now, this is the next product everybody want to see. Samsung AO, what is it, AO2S? <laughs> yeah, this one right here. This is the phone everybody want me to review. This is the Supreme Samsung Peasant Phone, 150 bucks. I might just get an order this and make a little funny video, but that's how our Amazon looks. Next, we'll take it home. YouTube Music. Okay, now y'all see I've been rocking that K-Flock lately. You know, this is my YouTube music history, B-Love. Been on a lot of drill shit lately. It is what it is. Take it back home. Next, YouTube. Of course, let's go to my channel. Okay, now this is what I usually do, come to my channel, check up on my videos. Let's see, uh, anything interesting? Mm. <laughs> oh, sneaker videos, okay. Now, next video I'm about to do, sneakers. sneakers. Let's see what Blink. some of my sneakers that I never got a chance to wear yet. Because my ass be in the house all the time. Anyway, so that's how YouTube is going to look. <laughs> Woo! 
Those are fly. I forgot I had those. All right, let's go back home. Next, let's go to HBO Max. Okay, now if I want to watch some videos, we'll take it to HBO Max. Now let's see what I've been watching, you know, <laughs> expose myself real quick. All right, now this is what I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of Justice League, uh, the Justice League, Batman. I was watching Bill Maher last night. <laughs> <laughs> I watched all of the Justice League. Yeah, I told you I was sick. I was sick in the bed. So I was watching nonstop cartoons. Okay, let's see. Just added. They got Tony Hawk, Invisible Pilot. Oh, they got the movie Red. I might watch that tonight. We Are the Millers. That was pretty good. Anyway, so this is HBO Max. Let's go back home. Next, let's take it over to Netflix. A little Netflix and chill. All right, let's see what's going down on Netflix. Let's see. We, uh, let's see what's trending. Okay, we got Trivia Quest. Okay, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I might see that. Fear City. Y'all better watch Fear City. Fear City's pretty dope. All right, Fear City's dope. Anyway, so that's our Netflix. Let's go back home. Next, we got Disney Plus. All right, let's see what's going down in the uh, multiverse. <laughs> now, Moon Knight came out. I'm purposely not going to watch it. I'm waiting until the whole season ends, and then I'll binge watch it one day. Drink a 40 ounce of malt liquor. <laughs> That's it, take it old school. Let's go back home. We got Ness, and then let's take it over to, all right, my bad, Amaya just called me, so I really gotta wrap this up. So the last thing I like to do, take it over to Instagram. Now from Instagram, I like to disconnect my USB hub. Okay. And we'll go over into tablet mode. So we'll fold this up. Now we'll be in tablet mode. And we oh, this is a family show. What am I doing? All right, let's grab the S Pen. <laughs> Zoom out a little bit. And this is how I like to use Instagram in the bed. Okay. Nice outfits right there. Get my little scrolling. That's the dog. Okay. Oh, somebody about to dunk one of these? Okay, I'll probably do the same. Okay, we got the Hoodville. Okay. Now, if I want to, I could drop the sound on. My Haitian parents' reaction to my brother getting braids. Okay. Oh, I can mute the sound. Okay, this is a family show. Okay, we got the cats. All right. If it fits, I sits. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, Dickie V. Okay, we got some memes. Some little dancing skits, you know, skits. Okay. Cute cat videos. I have to. I have to like those immediately. Okay. Okay. Now that that's just gross right there. Got JBL. Uh, was it J Lab? Okay. J Lab Audio. You see, they they out here roasting Tory Lanes. He has alopecia also though, so you know, can't really make fun of that. It is what it is. Okay. We got the ice jewelry. That's what I like to see. But anyway, this is how your Instagram is gonna look. Michael Rappaport. <laughs> Crying about something else. What's he crying about today? Of course, cute cats. Okay. Okay. Steph Curry. Oh, okay. New York judge commits suicide weeks after FBI raids his home. What did he have in his home? That's what I want to know. Cute cat videos all day. Anyway, so you see your regular daily activities. No issues with this laptop slash tablet. And then when I'm finished... I could rock it like this also, okay? You can put it in tablet mode like this. All right, let's exit out of this. Oh, okay. And rock it like this. Or just put it right back in laptop mode. Let's get and wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 a major, major, major go. I love this two-on-one laptop. The build quality is excellent. The battery life is great. The display is beautiful. You got the perfect amount of power for gaming, editing, work, play, and your scumbag activities. Not to mention, you got the S Pen. All of the Samsung apps work flawlessly with all the other Samsung devices. And you can fold this up into a tablet this is a certified beast. Now my only gripe is I wish the speakers was a little bit louder and maybe for next year's version, add quad speakers like the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. But overall, this is a win. This is my favorite two-in-one laptop. 
Anyway, Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangs is on deck. Get your drinks ready. Go meet boys and lads. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss up now. Do something. Spark one to beam up. Now let's talk about some of my favorite Samsung features and we'll start with quick shit. Now on a side note, I got my RGB mouse plugged in, so if you don't see my hands, I'm using the mouse. Shoes, come on shoes. <laughs> Bro, this is the struggles of having a cat. The cat is gonna chill in your laptop. All right, shoes, I'm gonna need you to conveniently scoot up out of here, you. Damn. All right, let me, let me, let me start that over. Come on, bro, what are you, come on. Shoes, man, come, bro. You, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, y'all? <laughs> y'all think it's all, y'all think it's all fun and games? Come on, come on, man, get out of here. Bro. Shoes about to break my laptop, man. 